Over one in three Americans ages 18 and older have prediabetes. What is it and how can you reduce your risk? Prediabetes is when you have a blood glucose or blood sugar level which is higher than normal but not quite high enough to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. You can reduce your risk of prediabetes and prevent it from furthering to type 2 diabetes by several things. One, you can eat a well-balanced diet, which includes fruits, vegetables, calcium-rich foods, whole grains, and protein foods. Also, you could exercise at least 150 minutes a week, which is equivalent to 30 minutes a day, five days a week. And you can also work with a registered dietitian who will help establish long-lasting healthy habits which are specific for you. Individuals who are at a higher risk of becoming pre-diabetic are those that are ages 45 years or older, who also have a BMI or body mass index of 25 or greater. Also, individuals who are 45 years old or younger who have the BMI of 25 or higher, along with high blood pressure or high cholesterol or history of type 2 diabetes in their family or have a history of inactivity. So there are certain races and ethnicities who are more at risk. African Americans, Native Americans, Asian Americans, Latino, and Pacific Islanders. There are no clear signs and symptoms of prediabetes, which is why it's important to have routine visits with your primary care physician, because you may have it and not know it. When you go to your primary care provider, there are several tests that can be done to diagnose prediabetes. One test is a hemoglobin A1C and having a value between 5.7 and 6.4, or having a fasting blood glucose test done and your value is between 100 and 125 milligrams per deciliter, or having an oral glucose tolerance test done where your two hour blood glucose level reads between 140 and 199 milligrams per deciliter. So one thing that comes up a lot with, especially with the exercise, you know, you don't have to do 30 minutes in one lump sum. You can do 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, as long as you're getting that 30 minutes within that 24 hour period. And that can be anything that gets your heart rate pumping. So if it's taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator, you don't have to make a total lifestyle change at one time. You can take small steps by, if, for instance, if you're skipping meals or if you miss breakfast or miss lunch, try incorporating that meal so that you're getting at least three meals a day. Also too, when you go to the shopping center, instead of hunting or hunting down that first parking space, you can park farther away, get in some extra steps. It is proven that when you make interventions such as lifestyle change, including changing your eating habits, having a well-balanced diet, increasing your physical activity, you can prolong being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Thank you for joining me. I hope this information has been helpful. To learn more, go to conehealth.com slash diabetes. I am Donetta Floyd.